Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another World of Tanks replay contest winner and this is the one you guys have all been waiting for. You've been all holding your breath. You can now breathe a sigh of relief or a sigh of disappointment if you wish. But today we have the final first place winner, Ando Laxbro in the Object 416 in a very, very nice matchup today with only three tier 8s per team. And this is pretty much where the 416 is going to be excelling the most, considering the 416 pretty much has the same gun as the T-54. Now, it may have a little bit of different characteristics, but it is still pretty much the same. Same 201mm of penetration, same 320 alpha damage. But the only thing that is really a downside to this tank it is it's like gun depression like most Russian tanks, and also it doesn't have a fully traversable turret which means that it can get outflanked very easily and oftentimes not have enough time to react. Now, you may be wondering, what is what is Ando really doing right now? Well, to be honest, it's, it's hard for me to say. He's got a really weird loadout on his 416, way different than I would ever want to bring in this tank. Considering it does have quite a lengthy reload, around 7 seconds, I definitely want to be doing rammer and vents, and maybe something to give me a better aim time so I can pump out more shots. But Ando has opted to go for, I think, rammer and, as well, binoculars and camo net. So his tank is going to be very, very stealthy, and he's going to be able to see his enemies well before they can see him, considering he's giving himself a huge advantage to his terrible Russian view range. And he's also employing some very, very good bush tactics here. He's using this tree that he knocked down, as well as the bush here, and also this other tree that is still standing up to just give him amazing camo and be able to have amazing side shots at all these tanks. Now, one thing that should be kept in mind is that there is only four tanks, pretty much, on this entire side of the map, and there's a ton of enemies down there. There's at least seven to eight enemies down there. And look at the other side. The other side has so many more tanks, and we're going we're gonna to keep this in mind for later on and tell you just how Ando is going to win this game. But he's pumping in a lot of shots into his equal tier counterpart, the other Object 416 and the KV-4. He finds the KV-3 again. He gets a shot off, and the KV-3 is just obliterated by that bus of an artillery, the Su-14-1. Now one also thing you guys should keep in mind is that the 416 doesn't have a lot of ammo. It only carries about 36 rounds of ammunition and Ando was just burning through his AP like crazy, lighting these guys up and then pumping a lot of shots into them. Trying to find shots on the KV-4 and 416 but it doesn't look like he has full shots on them. The KV-4 and 416 do look like they're behind that house there. And that's a very good position for them to be in, considering they don't know where Ando is and he's just able to shoot them. Now, unfortunately, this gun, it does have pretty decent accuracy at times, but sometimes it just doesn't hit. But like right here, he puts in a nice shot into that KVA-5, and now he's got another one here. Oh, sorry, that's that other one was the IS. I thought that was KV-85. This is KV-85, and he just completely obliterates him. So nice shooting there, already picking up 2,201 damage, and the KV-5 is getting a little confident, pushing right up into there. There's a lot of tanks over there that could really, really mess up his day, especially the 416, considering it does have really good penetration with heat and also decent penetration with AP. Now, Ando has missed quite a few shots here already. He's burned through almost all of his AP ammunition. He's only got five shells left, and then he'll have to start firing heat or his three high explosive. Again, just burning through ammo, 
trying to shoot the KV-4. Doesn't look like he has good shots on him. He's, he really wants to get rid of the KV-4, though. He's so determined to get rid of the KV-4 that he will burn through all his ammunition before he can kill him. But it seems like he's taken this into consideration, and he is he's still trying to line up, but he's not actually going to be firing anymore at the KV-4 until he has better shots. We can see that the enemy 416 is indeed coming down to try and take out the KV-5. Oh, this is not good for the KV-5. And this is where... Fair in mind, I did say that part of the rules of this competition was no team damage allowed. But that was that was totally accidental. We're, we're going to not count that as intentional. That was totally unintentional team damage. As he's trying to go for this 416, that's just circling... The KV-5 like crazy. The KV-4 comes out. He's now going to ram the KV-5. And the KV-5 is just going to lose all his HP. And Ando has finally, finally burned through all his AP shells. And now he's firing heat. Gets a lucky shot there on the 416. Now he's got the KV-4. Can he take him out in one shot? That'd be so nice. He misses a shot though. I think it might have hit the KV-5. It might have went over. But it doesn't matter, the KV-4 sits still and gives Ando another chance to finish him off. So, pretty much that was a kind of a little tense situation. But as we can see on the map, I haven't really been paying attention too much to the map. But the entire other side, the eastern flank, has completely fallen. And now Ando, his position has now been given up. His sixth sense goes off. He's still sitting there. I probably would be moving by now, considering the OI just took a shot at you. So he's overstayed his welcome there, and the T-3485M doesn't actually go for him. That's a really strange thing to do. I've never seen a tank not go for a tank sitting wide open, like wide out in the open. But he's able to come around behind him. It looks like he's loading high explosive to take him out, but the T-20 takes him out instead, and now he switches back to heat. It's a 3v5 situation. Is he going to be able to win this game? He's still on full health. Nine shells remaining. The enemy tanks are on very low HP, and he's going to be easily able to take them out in one shot each. He gets spotted by the T2064. Is he going to be able to get around him and take him out, or is he going to get taken out himself? Takes his first hit of the game, but takes him out in return. And now it's a 1v4 situation. The OI... Such a big fat Jap heavy tank that it has no time to turn around. And I'm not crediting. I'm not going to credit the Object 416's armor, but this is insane. Just absolutely ricochets that 122. Like it was. Like it was a penny being thrown at the tank. And now. He's finally able to take out the IS. Now, where is the T 43? There he is. Come on, Ando. Take your time. Take your time, buddy. You only have four shells remaining, one heat shell left. The only thing that can really penetrate. Okay, good. Repair your gun. Repair your gun. Okay, and now you got two, two high explosives that you can risk on this guy. And pretty much the T the T43 is done right now. There is no way that high explosive wasn't going to kill him. But this has just been such a tense battle. Almost 5k damage, seven kills. He's only lost a, about a third of his hit points. But he's down to one shell left, and there is another boat of an SPG, that Russian Tier 7 SPG, the SU-14-1, who's already picked up two kills this game. So he's going to be really, really tough to find and kill. Now, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this battle that Ando is assaulting on Erlenberg here. I believe it is Erlenberg. Yeah, I can, I can never remember the names of these maps, but now... He has a choice. He can hunt down the SPG or he can cap for the minute 40 seconds it takes. But Ando is not about sitting in the cap circle. He's going full metal against the boat and he spots him. Wait a minute. The Sixth Sense icon hasn't come off. He he wasn't spotted. Ando, you were lit. You, were, you just risked your last shell on him. And you just risked your last shell on him. And what what is this? What's, what's that? <laughs> the, the, the SU-14-1 fires without even spotting Ando, and Ando, th this is going to be satisfying. Just watch this. Just absolutely ram kills that boat of an SPG so much heavier than the 416. 
taking him out and surviving on 350 HP. So an amazing result here for Ando in his Object 416. So I'd like to thank you so much, Ando Laxbro, for sending in this replay of your Object 416 and you just completely destroying the enemy team, getting to a really good starting position, being able to snipe them out. And you did waste quite a bit of shells in this game, but it totally paid off with that epic final ram kill and the hilarious SU-14-1, not even knowing where you were and completely throwing the game by firing into nothingness. So quite an amazing result for you here in your 416. I bet you are so happy to have received just the top prize. You've gotten the top prize, man. You did it. So I am very happy to announce that Andalax Pro, you have officially won the Skoda T40, the 1,000 gold that comes with it, the garage slot, and the three days of premium. So enjoy that, my friend. You have totally deserved it with your amazing replay here. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the post-game stats to see what Ando picked up during this game, and this is going to be an amazing result for him. So unsurprisingly, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the post-battle results screen. Just, Ando, you just picked up an amazing result here. You picked up a Mastery Badge Ace Tanker for your game, a Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of your vehicle, you picked yourself up a nice Radley Walters medal for your 8 kills, as well as the top gun for the 6 kills that you got out of your 8 kills. You managed to pick up 40,695 credits, as well as 2,838 experience without premium, giving you a very nice result for this game. Checking out the team list here, we can see that Ando picked up 5,579 damage, pretty much almost two to three times more the next person on his team, and 1,418 base experience for his six medals and just amazing damage in this game. We can see that he fired every single one of his shots, 35 shots, 25 hit, 22 penetrated, one did splash damage on the artillery, and pr pretty much most of his damage was done over 300 meters, so he did a very good sniper roll here, and he also managed to block almost 1300 damage, so that's pretty good. But despite the amazing win, the amazing pretty much everything there was to be amazing about this replay, your 40,000 was not enough to cover your expenses, just resupplying all those heat shells that you had fired, and you ended up losing 55,000 credits. So that is a little disappointing for this replay, but still such a good game in the end. So ladies and gentlemen, for everyone who participated in my patch 9.12 replay contest, I give a huge thank you for sending in amazing amounts of replays, almost pretty much 40 replays that have been sent in during this replay contest duration. And I'm sorry that only three people could have won, but I believe that Ando, Amir, and Teddy totally deserved to win these prizes. They did an amazing job in all the replays, but I would very much like to thank you guys all for sending in your replays. Thank you so, so much. You've given me a ton of footage that I can still show on my channel if I can get a working version of Patch 9.12 before 9.13 goes up considering I am recording this a day early because I just found out it's probably going up tomorrow, so that's not a good thing. And you really need to get these things done. So, again, thank you guys all for watching. Feel free to give Ando a big thumbs up for his amazing job here in this game and giving him the Skoda T40 as the first place prize. And if you guys want, feel free to check out some of my other videos on my channel. Check out some of the other winners' videos on my channel as well that have been posted during the last few days. And give those guys a big thumbs up for the amazing job they did. And I hope to see all you guys submit just as many replays in the next patch contest. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Snipes Killer, and I will see you guys in the next video. So take care and have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.